L-carnitine. Now, L-carnitine is a supplement that oftentimes gets marketed for fat loss, and let's just cut to the chase, it does not work to increase fat loss. It has been shown in research to not increase fat oxidation, it does not increase uh, fat, uh, more fat burning for fuel in a majority of research, and so let's talk a little bit about it. Carnitine is an amino acid inside your muscle that mobilizes fat for fuel. So it makes sense that we'd want to take something like that, have more carnitine, and with more carnitine, burn more fat for fuel. However, most studies show that taking it orally does not increase your L-carnitine levels in the muscle, or your carnitine levels in the muscle. And so L-carnitine is the form that they sell it as a, as a supplement. Um, most of the research that shows results for increased fat oxidation or fat utilization is uh, when they inject the L-carnitine. Now there is one research study that shows increased levels of L-carnitine, but it's only done with 14 subjects, and it kind of opposes a lot of the other research out there. So again, if there is an effect, it's very, very mild, and the, the majority of studies are not showing this. Again, it's put in weight loss formulas, it's, put, it's sold by itself. If you're going to take it, uh, the one that's utilized, what I've seen most in research, is L-carnitine L-tartrate. Um, it's just the way it's chelated and the way it's formed. And it is effective for, as I said, for a number of things. The list is kind of long. The effects are pretty minor. One of the things uh, that I think it is effective for is increasing recovery. But again, the effect is very minor. And one of the theories, it, it potentially, that it can cause increased recovery because one study showed, again, it's a fairly small study, but one study showed that it actually increases androgen receptors on the muscle cells. Androgens are your uh, male hormones, both females and males make them, uh, testosterone being the primary, and the testosterone binds to an androgen receptor. So the more receptors you have, the more activity of the hormone you actually have. So uh, do I think it's a worthwhile supplement to purchase? I do not. It's not on my recommended list necessarily. It's not harmful. I haven't seen anything in studies that shows that it's going to cause problems. However, the effects you're going to get from it, I think you may get some, are going to be very minor as far as fat loss. I don't think you're going to recognize very much in that area. Uh, so, your money is better spent elsewhere. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay strong. I'll see you next time.